Bringing Love to the Flood Affected People, Part 2 Guruji Ruma's Relief Mission in Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai Provinces, Thailand, September 15th and September 16th, 2567, Buddhist Calendar. At the beginning of September 2024, many countries in Southeast Asia, such as the Philippines and Vietnam, suffered from the devastating effects of Super Typhoon Yagi, one of the largest storms in Asia this year. Although the typhoon has dissipated, its remnants are causing disasters in Thailand. The storm's aftermath has brought heavy rains, leading to severe flooding and landslides in many northern provinces of Thailand. In Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai provinces, there were many significant landslides. According to statistics, approximately 3,000 households in Chiang Mai and 20,000 households in Chiang Rai were affected by the floods and landslides. Upon learning that the residents of these two provinces were facing difficulties, Guruji Ruma organized a relief program to assist them. On September 14, 2024, Guruji Ruma instructed his students to prepare 8.5 tons of rice, 1,700 boxes of vegetarian instant noodles, and 1,700 bottles of drinking water to distribute to the residents of Mei Ai District in Chiang Mai Province. The total value of the gifts amounted to approximately 580,000 baht, equivalent to about 430 million Vietnam dong. On the morning of September 15, 2024, Guruji Ruma and his students arrived at the first gift distribution site, a hall at the Volunteer Center of May Ai District. Mrs. Selenia Kamfakau, the head of May Ai District, along with several local government officials, came to receive 100 relief packages from Guruji Ruma, which would then be distributed to each affected household. Each package included one bag of 5 kilogram rice, one box of vegetarian instant noodles, and one 5 liter bottle of drinking water. Mrs. Selenia Kamfakau, representing the residents, expressed gratitude to Guruji Ruma. Dear Guruji Ruma, representative of the Master Ruma Foundation, Today, in May Ai District, I would like to express my sincere gratitude on behalf of the people of May Ai to the Foundation, especially to Guruji for compassionately connecting us to provide essential supplies that we urgently need in May Ai District. According to inquiries from elderly individuals aged 70 and 80, they have never encountered a situation like this in their memory. From our initial survey, we have more than 10,000 households with nearly 30,000 residents facing difficulties. Currently, what those affected need most are essential supplies, as they are unable to support themselves due to the rapidly rising floodwaters. However, in the future, additional support with household items will also be necessary. Some homes are flooded up to the rooftops. Among the more than 10,000 households facing difficulties, over half are submerged to the roof level. Items such as beds, blankets, kitchen utensils, clothes and other essentials have been washed away by the water. After we provide initial support for these emergencies, we still need ongoing assistance to recover from these losses. I would like to report the situation as such. And today, once again, thank you for the items we received from the Foundation's contributions this time. We will distribute these items to those affected in the area. Currently, there are still four residential clusters that are unreachable by vehicle. We have to use trucks to transport supplies to boats and then bring them in. In Fatai village, the electricity is still cut off. 
Today, some relief packages will be distributed to the residents in the affected areas outside, while the remaining supplies will be taken to the areas that are still inaccessible by vehicle at this time. Finally, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Guruji Ruma, the Master Ruma Foundation, and everyone who has coordinated and shown compassion in helping the affected people in my eye during this time. Thank you. Following that, Guruji Ruma shared words of encouragement and wishes for peace to the people of May Ai. Good morning, everyone here. First of all, I would like to send my greeting and wish for peace to the people of Mi Ai Duchess, Chiang Mai Fubin. I know that you have gone through a difficult time due to the natural disaster and plus. Many have a suffering political loss. Today, I Ruma along with some students from the Master Ruma International Association for Meditation. Bring a few gifts for the village and people. Parts of their gift come from a general heart of my students from all over the world, includes my own family. Their loving gift may not fully make up for what the village and people here have lost, but they represent the compassion, love, and support for me and all the general donor to you all. I hope you will receive from warmly. One again, I do my wish anyone peace, well-being in life. Thank you all. Leaving the first location, Guruji Ruma and his students continued to the second site, the Disaster Relief Center in Mei Ai District, Chiang Mai Province. Here, Guruji Ruma donated over 500 relief packages to the residents of Mei Ai and Malika communes. The local government officials from both communes represented the community in receiving the relief gifts from him. Mr. Purun Tamchai Suwan, the head of May Ai Commune, expressed his gratitude to Guruji Ruma. Dear Guruji Ruma, the Master Ruma Foundation, and all of your disciples, I am the mayor of May Ai Commune and I would like to express my deep gratitude to Guruji and your team for compassionately visiting us and providing essential supplies for our lives. This demonstrates great kindness, humanitarian spirit, and love for the people in May Ai District. Guruji and your team have prepared over 1,700 gift packages to distribute. Today, there may be fewer residents here to greet you, as those affected are still busy taking care of their homes five days after the disaster. On behalf of the people in the municipal area, I sincerely thank Guruji and all of your disciples for your assistance. Thank you all. We are also preparing in a hurry. We just heard about this within the last two days, and it hasn't even been two days since I immediately sent someone to prepare the items. Therefore, things are a bit rushed, and we do not have everything ready yet. We hope for your understanding. We know that my eye is currently facing difficulties. This is my heartfelt gesture, as well as the heartfelt contribution from all the students everywhere. Sending you a small gift with love to help with the floods occurring around the world, including here in May Ai, Thailand. Once again, I pray for the villagers in May Ai province to find peace harmony and happiness from the divine of the universe 
and I wish you well and prosperous. Once again, I wish you peace, peace. May all the people of May Ai province receive the blessing of the divine. May hardships pass and bring peace to life here. After distributing the gifts, Guruji Ruma walked along the road to observe and inquire about the current living conditions of the families in the area following the devastating floods. Although the floodwaters had receded, mud and debris remained everywhere, and the air was still filled with a foul odor. Residents were busy cleaning and disinfecting to prevent the outbreak of disease. The drainage system was also clogged with debris that had washed ashore. Guruji Ruma personally delivered some relief packages directly to the local residents. The storm has cleared everything here. Thailand executes this well. Their speed in responding to their citizens is remarkable. They manage, receive, and care for the people with the help of philanthropists and organizations that assist the poor, which is commendable. The local Thai authorities respond immediately. Wherever help comes from, whether big or small, they ensure it reaches their community. Machinery and military units rush to these places, with cranes quickly removing the water. So, they act very quickly to resolve things and minimize further damage. What's great is that they distribute supplies to the people. It's impressive, truly impressive. Their spirit of unity is remarkable. Thank you, thank you. The way they deliver aid is very commendable. They get the supplies out immediately. Additionally, he visited and provided relief gifts to Navisitan Temple. I wish you receive peace. The floodwaters will not come anymore.
Well, it has flooded here now. Are they currently cleaning up? They have a great system where, as soon as the flood comes, the villagers and soldiers all immediately gather. All the philanthropists or whoever is ready to help are welcomed with open arms. It's truly impressive. The floodwaters are coming from that direction, right? Those houses over there are completely flooded. These are the fellow citizens affected by the flood in May Ai, which is part of Chiang Mai province. What's impressive is that they always support each other. This is the May Ai River, which rises very quickly, causing rapid flooding. That house has collapsed. Where are they pumping the water to? It's completely flooded now. The water has been like this since yesterday. Wow, there's still so much water. They can move to another place, right? The next location the Guruji Ruma charity team visited was the mountainous Doi Lang commune in Mei Ai district, Chiang Mai province. The distance from the second site to the third was not far, but the road leading up to the highlands was difficult and treacherous. Just a few days prior, it had rained, making the path slippery. Parts of the dirt road had eroded, and fallen trees blocked the way, forcing the charity vehicles to stop and wait for a while before they could pass. The sky remained overcast, with a light rain beginning to fall. Looking at the roadside, 
one could easily see traces of mud and debris that had washed from the hills. It was clear that during the recent heavy rains, this area had suffered from severe flash floods and landslides. Those frail, weak trees could not bear the weight of the earth that had become saturated with floodwaters. When the charity team arrived, it was nearly noon, and the sun had come out, making it hotter. Many residents were already waiting to meet Guruji Ruma and receive relief gifts from him. Here, Guruji Ruma donated 1,100 relief packages, consisting of 5.5 tons of rice, 1,100 boxes of vegetarian instant noodles, and 1,100 bottles of drinking water. Mr. Thanum Tanachokatol, the head of Doi Lang Commune, represented the government and the local representatives to express gratitude to Guruji Ruma. <laughs> Dear Guruji Ruma and the entire team, today, I, Danam Tanachokatu, the president of the administrative organization in Nairang Commune, would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to you and your disciples for bringing supplies to the people in their time of need. From what I've heard from the team members, I know that you are very famous, not only for your help within the country, but also within many nations around the world. Regardless of ethnicity, Guruji never forgets and always assists people across the road. Regardless of ethnicity, Guruji never forgets and always assists people across the globe. Today, I would like to express my sincere thanks to Guruji and the team once again for coming to support the people in the high mountainous region of Chiang Mai, despite the difficult roads. Your compassion has brought you here. On behalf of the team and the residents of the villages, I respectfully thank Guruji and your disciples. Thank you. I would like to thank you and wish you all the best during this difficult time of floods, which have brought misfortune to the people here. I have a few small gifts material wealth for the villagers, representing my love and care as well as that of my students. We hope you accept this love. Let me pray for you and the villagers here to find peace and tranquility. Once again, thank you all and thank you to everyone who accepts this small gift from me and my students, offered to you during this challenging time of storms and landslides in these hills. And thank you very much. After that, Guruji Ruma compassionately distributed the relief packages to the residents. This was the first time in their lives that they had the opportunity to meet Guruji Ruma. The image of a humble living master standing in the hot sun patiently handing out each relief gift left a deep and unforgettable impression on the hearts of the people in this mountainous area. Although they may not fully understand what a guru is or be aware of the great deeds that he has accomplished for the world, deep down they felt an immense love from the compassionate heart of the living master. Despite the increasingly hot weather, the local residents lined up neatly and patiently waited for their turn to receive gifts. They were eager to receive the relief items from Guruji Ruma. Many could not hide their emotions of joy and happiness as they held bags of rice, boxes of vegetarian instant noodles, and bottles of clean water in their hands. These gifts, which might seem small, were incredibly precious and important to the impoverished people in this mountainous area, especially during these difficult days after the suffering from the devastation of heavy rains and flash floods. Floods come and go, sweeping away possessions and claiming lives, while also washing away the trust and hope of those fortunate enough to escape disaster. Today, Guruji Ruma has come to ignite within them new rays of hope for a peaceful and beautiful life, showing them new lights on the path of the head. It is believed that the beams of light radiating from the wisdom of the living master will dispel the dark shadows of karma that shroud the lives of these suffering people.
helping them find a life of peace and happiness. Leaving Chiang Mai behind, the Guruji Ruma charity team continued their journey to the northernmost province of Thailand, Chiang Rai. This province was also one of the hardest hit by the devastating floods due to the aftermath of Typhoon Yagi. The relief supplies from the charity team were gathered at Paya Situng Kam Temple in Mei Sai District. Chiang Rai. When the team arrived, it was already dark, so everyone hurried to pack the gifts for distribution the following day. Local residents enthusiastically assisted the team in transporting and packaging the donations. Since the activities took place within the temple grounds, everyone worked gently, maintaining a sense of reverence and tranquility. The packages included items such as milk, soap, laundry powder, toothpaste, toothbrushes, shampoo, toilet paper, and bottled water. The total value of the donations was approximately 100,000 baht, equivalent to about 70 million Vietnam dong. After several hours, 430 relief packages were neatly packed and ready for distribution the next day. On the morning of September 16, 2024, the Gurji Ruma charity team distributed 100 relief packages at Paya Situng Kam Temple. Local government representatives accepted the gifts on the behalf of the residents. Afterward, the team loaded the supplies onto a truck and moved to the second location. where the May Side District Red Cross had gathered relief items. Here, the team donated another 100 relief packages to those affected by the floods. The final destination of the Guruji Ruma charity team was Piaporn Village in Mei Sai District, Chiang Rai. The relief vehicle stopped right at a food market, which used to be a bustling trading hub. But I'd become desolate due to the floods. Although the water had receded somewhat, many areas in the village were still submerged with debris floating everywhere. Houses in higher areas had dried out first, but the residents were struggling with the thick mud that filled their homes. Many pieces of furniture, vehicles, and equipment were damaged by the flood, piled up on the streets. Here, the team directly distributed over 100 gift packages to the households in the village, containing many essential supplies and drinking water. 
many residents had to struggle through deep waters to reach the distribution point. Upon receiving the valuable gifts from Guruji Ruma, everyone wore happy smiles and expressed their gratitude for his compassion. Thus, the journey of bringing Guruji Ruma's love to the flood-affected people in Thailand has come to a close. Despite the hardships, everyone in the relief team felt happy and uplifted for having done something meaningful. The vehicles carrying Guruji Ruma's love continues to roll towards places where lives are still facing challenges, calling for help from the divine and sacred beings. Witnessing the destructive power of natural disasters that will take lives and belongings makes us appreciate even more what we have. As long as we are healthy, breathe fresh air, live in peace, and have loved ones around us, we should cherish and be grateful to the Divine and the Guru for these blessings. Reflecting on the past few months of early 2024, it's clear that humanity is facing increasing instability. Floods are appearing everywhere, alongside unusual natural disasters and diseases. One might ask if this is a sign that we are entering a period of purification, as our world seems to be overwhelmed by negative karma. Regardless of belief in this idea, we must acknowledge a fundamental truth. Humanity is small compared to the immense power of nature. The only way to endear and escape nature's retribution is through spiritual practice. Only by living virtuously, loving all beings, doing good, avoiding harm, and turning to the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and Gurus can we hope to attain peace and happiness during these uncertain times.